Look, come on. The dragon's looking for you. Does she know I'm late? Not yet. I've covered for you. Yes, Chloe. Okay, so that's a double room confirmed for the 21st and 22nd. Thank you for calling the Hotwood Spa Hotel. Bye. Just a moment. Uh, uh, sorry, I'll be right with you. Flowers for the uh, hall and dining room. Sorry about that. Hi, I'm Gina. How can I help you? Good morning. Name's Perkins. We have a room booked for two nights. Everyone will show you to room, but if there's anything else that you need, then don't hesitate to let me know. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Hiya. You all right? Yeah, can, can you, um, on the desk for five minutes? Yeah, sure. Oh, word of warning, though, stay away from the macaroni cheese. It sucks. Are you all right? Wait, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I just need a fan. Hello, Holt with Spartel. How can I help? Take the ladder, take the car. Okay? Yeah, hi, it's my friend. I don't know what's happened, but she's not walking <laughs> to me or anything. Hello, mate. How are you doing? I'm a paramedic. <laughs> hey, you weren't involved at all? No, right? no, not at all. Uh, what's your name, sweetheart? Um, I'm Chloe. Um, her name? Gina. Gina. Hey, Gina, I'm Jeff. I'm a paramedic. Can you hear me? <laughs> well, can you do me a favour? Could you come round to the back of the car for me and hold her head? Yeah. Lovely, thank you. What's happened to you then, Princess? Oh. Like this? Yeah, that's good. Very good. Perfect. You got it? Mm hmm. All right, Gina, I'm just going to examine you, darling. Can you feel that? Okay. What about your legs? Can you feel this one? In this side? Okay. I'm going to need a collar. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Just sit tight for me. That's great. Thanks, mate. How is she? Oh, did I? She doesn't seem to want to talk to me. Yours? Well, it's obviously dislocated the shoulder, but it's refusing pain relief. OK, do us a favour, will you? Can you get rid of the collar, the head huggers, please, and can you call for some backup? Yeah. He reckons it was an accident.
All right, boys, who've we got? Dina Simpson. No sign of a head injury. I was concerned about her levels of communication. Okay, let's get him in, Teresa. Okay, thanks. Which one, please? Okay, guys, over here. Let's transfer. All right, when we're ready, then. Thank you. Okay, right, anybody got some? Yep. On yeah. One, two, three. Okay, gently. Gina Timpson, the driver of a car involved in an RTC, car versus van at about 30 miles an hour. It wasn't KO. GCS has been 15 throughout. BP is 120 systolic, pulse 80, and SATs are at 97%. Uh, no sign of any outward injury. Collared and boarded as a precaution, but difficult to assess her because she hasn't actually spoken since it happened. Thanks, Jeff. Okay. Gina, I'm Dr. Knight. I'm going to take a good look at you, okay? We're going to need you to cooperate with us so we can determine the extent of your injuries. Can you move your toes? Okay, I know she's pretty shaky. Yeah, I think it's more than that. Gina, it's fine if you don't want to talk to us, but it's really important that we establish what you can and can't feel, okay? Now, don't nod your head. Just blink if you can hear me. Good girl. Jeff! The boy that came in after you, was he involved in the same accident? Yeah. Did you recognise him? No, I didn't get a good look at him. Well, it's Mark Cunningham, brother of John Cunningham. The bloke who said Dixie attacked him at the club. So? So I'm sure that Gina is the girl that John assaulted. OK. Would that do anything stupid? Like what? I don't know. Stupid. It's your department, isn't it? Bit of help over here, Rita. OK, can you run a set of ops while I do a primary survey? And then we'll log roll off the board. Fine, x ray's normal. Oh, you're a very lucky girl. Just need to see you with your collar off. Nice and slowly. Good. Okay, can you uh, look to your left for me? And your right? Any pain? A bit stiff. Okay, and just uh, look to your toes. Good. Apart from some bruising and one cracked rib, everything seems fine. Okay, let's just lift you up nice and slowly. Yeah, we'll get you some painkillers for that, okay? Gina? Did I see you at the Juju bar the other night? No. Really? I've never been. You must have a double out there. I could have sworn it was you. Is that the place on the high street? Yeah. I don't know. I might have went in there with Chloe from work. I was in there with my mate, too. <laughs> we had a disastrous night. You? Can I go home now, please? Sure, I'll just write you up a script for the painkillers and uh, you're free to go. I won't be a moment. OK, you can take one of those four times a day, but no more, OK? Oh. Gina, can we talk? It's my husband, dear, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll check for you in a minute, OK? I just want you to know if something did happen at the club the other night, we can help you. I got lashed with my mate, that's all. No, you were distressed. I saw you in the alley. I saw you too. I knew it. I just went outside for a fag, that's all. You were running away. You looked scared to me. I can't handle this. Gina, we can help you. You can't. You can't help me because my head is in bits. Oh, sweetheart, <laughs> don't do that. No, don't do that. This is all my fault. Why? Because I shouldn't have gone outside. No, none of this is your fault. Don't you dare blame yourself. Do you hear me? What happened, Gina? It... John... <laughs> All right. Sweetheart. This is the first step. Just let it all So angry with myself. Why? You didn't do anything. That's the point. I just 
toes, I couldn't move. That is a natural reaction. It's how your body deals with fear. <laughs> so what happens now? Well, a lady from the Sexual Assault Referral Centre will come and have a chat with you. And they'll want to get the evidence. Stuff like that. Evidence? Of your attacker. Scoop myself clean of him. There still could be some DNA. And your nails or in your hair. But he's right. That evidence can be used to back up your statement whenever you decide to come forward, OK? It could be in a week, it could be in a year. It's totally up to you, cos you're in control now. Excuse me, um, there's someone here to see you. You're right, babe. I'm so sorry I've wrecked the car. Oh. Don't worry about that. What happened? Where's Frankie? I left him next door with Maggie. He's all right for a couple of hours. Okay. Gina, would you like us to leave you so you can talk to your husband? Could you both stay, please? Sure. What's up, babe? <laughs> Tell me when it happened. No, it's a shame. I just wanted to fix it. Now, go on. It's all right, babe. Come on. What do we do now? Well, if Gina agrees, then we contact the SARC unit and we start the process. You're going to do it, right? I don't know. You must, babe. Forensic evidence would hold up better in court. See? And they'll be able to find out who did it from his DNA. That's right, too, isn't it, Doc? Can I give them a ring, Gina? I just don't know whether I should. Of course you should. So we can nail the bastard. Can I give them a call? Sure. I know it's hard, babe, but I think you'll regret it if you don't. I love you. I love you too. Come on. Hey! Mum. I want a word with you. Mum, come on, just leave it. What you're saying about my son is sick. I told you to stay <laughs> away. Is he here? Is that him? No, no, that's... Come here, you! Don't get out of the Come on! 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 What sort of a married woman goes into an alley with one brother and then has sex with the other one, eh? What? It wasn't like that! It wasn't OK, like... get back to the cubicle! <laughs> this is not over! <laughs> Listen, please! I'm so sorry about that. What was she going on about? She thinks I asked for it. Why would she think that? Because I, I did go outside with one of them, Mum. What for? I don't know. A laugh. Want some attention. A snog. It didn't mean anything. It does now. No, Rory, it wasn't her fault. I saw what happened. I need some <laughs> air. Rory, please. <laughs> what have I done? Listen, you have done the right thing. Trust me. <laughs> Can you look after her for me? <laughs> Sorry. So am I. But not as sorry as John Cunningham's going to be. So we're going to do it then? Yeah. I'm not going to let him ruin. 